Why did the crab cross the road? To keep up with 50 million friends. To escape a mortal enemy. To tango on the beach and dance in the surf. These red crabs gave up the sea for life on dry land. It was an evolutionary bargain that brought new opportunities, but plenty of new dangers. And even now, they can't completely shake the ocean's grip. Every year, they have to sprint back to the salt water to spawn. Success depends on equal parts tenacity and luck. For the adult crabs and their tiny offspring. It's a clicking, clattering, round-trip journey that's one of the weirdest spectacles anywhere on Earth. things one expects to find in the forest. Crabs are pretty low on the list. These land crabs don't look that different from their marine relatives. They even breathe through modified gills. Sometimes evolution takes a left turn. These big red crabs found just the right conditions in just the right place. They live here on a tiny speck in the Indian Ocean, just south of Indonesia, called Christmas Island. Christmas just happened to be the day a British sea captain decided to give it a name. Eons ago, the Christmas Island red crabs lived in the tidal areas like most of their relatives still do. But they found there was plenty of food and not much competition further inland. In their adopted home, they feast on leaf litter, flowers, and seedlings. They're like a groundskeeping crew that gets rid of the overgrowth and clutter. A forest with resident crabs looks like a well-kept yard, relatively speaking. As a way to breathe on land, they developed a hybrid system that incorporates both gills and lungs they still need plenty of moisture to breathe. That's not easy to come by. During the dry season, they hang out in the deepest, dampest forest, burrow into the moist soil, and stay there for weeks or months. When the rain comes, they get out and about. The island's wettest time begins around November. This is a critical window. It's their chance to take a long walk for a crab all the way to the beach. They have to go because even though they live on land, there's one link to the sea they still can't shake. Their young have to be born in salt water. The humidity has topped 90%. The air now holds enough water for them to breathe easy and stay hydrated on the big march. The males go first, advancing like a mini tank battalion. This is not a coordinated effort. 
Every crab here is out for itself, following a single imperative. Get to the beach and reproduce. Thank you.